Where did that base your main man with a plan? The ice. Now, a lot has taken place since the last day we were And two of them is uh, tying into Armageddon. So, let me tell you guys what's going now. First off, we're going to have an Armageddon pre-show. Now, let me tell you what's going to be going on. Since the last episode, I decided that there were guys on this roster who, A, could use a moment. B hasn't been doing too bad because really hasn't been able to get the job done. But then in the interest of fairness, I've decided I put every male name in the AOA roster in a bag. And what we're going to do is I decided to draw eight names from that bag. Ran. And what's going to happen is those eight participants will be competing in an over-the-top rope battle royal with the winner being able to make the decision on what on either the AMA All-Star Championship or the United States Championship that that person would like to challenge. And as far as who those eight participants are, well, our production team will be running down the match card later, so you will find out then. Also, we're going to be away Armageddon. I also received a lot of uh, slack for uh, my decision a couple of episodes ago putting Nate Shield with Wayne Frost and the tag and knowing good and well that whatever way the TLC swing that Armageddon that they're going to be gone. Now they already made my decision and my words so I, I was going to do it next. I didn't think that all the way. But at the end of the day it's done and done. So I'm here to announce that the AOA on me getting it will be Nate Shields and Dwayne Frost versus the brand new AOA Tag Team Champions Weapons of Mass Destruction for the AOA Tag Team Champions. Which speaking of one of the guys that are going to be competing at Armageddon Matt Quill. He recently won the MBW World Championship by cashing in his opportunistic briefcase after Chris Crossburn lost it to Dwayne Cross, which allowed Matt Quill to cash in. Now, being in conversation with MBW gentleman Tyler Adams, we came up with this brilliant idea. So, right here tonight, in our main event, it will be Max Wolf one-on-one with Chris Crossburn for the NBW World Championship. So, with that being said, gentlemen, good luck. What is up, it's your boy, JNW Boss in the building. We're gonna kick things off. We're gonna skip past the intro, the pyro, and all that finav because we got a lot to get to. As the ice announced, you heard the ice say we are having a, hold on a sec. Jojo? Jojo, where? Jojo not here? Where, where the heck is Jojo? What? Probably getting high with our new intern. Anyways, um, we have a number one content. We have Mac Wolf putting the MBW World Championship on the line against Chris Crawburn. We found out that Lord getting it will be Dwayne Frost and Nate Shields versus the Weapon of Mass Destruction for the Tag Team titles. And we're about to see Sean Wright in singles action, and he has a match against Austin Wallace. For the AOA All-Star Championship. But the question is, who is, his, who is his opponent going to be for tonight? Wait a second. For real? Is this really? There's no way. There's no way this is seriously about to be his opponent. There's no freaking way. 
This is a joke. Apparently it's not. Okay. Well, Sean and this man actually have a bit of history. Because these two went one-on-one -on -one back in AOA episode 5 whenever Sean Wright made his debut. Which I found out one that exchange. Well, let's see what happens tonight. I'm right here in Baltimore and the craft in Baltimore already is getting a treat and listen to the crowd on their feet to this guy. And still no joking apparently. Okay. Anyway. And Balor making his way down to the ring. It's been a minute since we've seen him here in AOA. Like I said, debuted or, or not really nothing about really debut, but showed up. He faced Sean Wright in his debut. And then last up we saw him within the uh, semi-final match that he had against Max Wolf. With the AOA, you know, the, the, that would have determined the uh, one of the guys that went on to next level to face, well, it should have been Sean Wright, but went on to face Austin Wallace. Evidently, it's going to be AOA All-Star Championship and history later, and we are now here. And Finn Balor is, is, is back here in AOA. Well then, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. I'm, I'm excited to see how this match turned out, given that the first one didn't uh, turn out all too hot in favor of Sean Ryan. I'm pretty sure Sean, since then, he had the chance to learn, had the chance to grow, get some experience under his belt. Still from Dallas, though. So he's probably going to be competing all over the world during that time period. Let's see how he does it. All right. My lord. A matchup is underway, and I would like to welcome you guys to another edition of All Out Action Wrestling. Yeah, the Finn champ for Finn Balor. Well, I'd like to welcome you guys to another edition of, uh, of All Out Action Wrestling right here on WWE 2K19. So, of course, at any point during this, uh, the video, you guys feel something flying. Feel free to click the uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and also click the bell icon. That way you don't miss another AOA and or AOR upload. And, of course, now, if any, I would recommend you would stay subscribed and stay tuned into this channel because we are mere two episodes away from, oh, now, from AOA and AOR. Biggest shows to date, AOA season finale with AOA Armageddon, and I guess you could say the same deal for AOR with AOR Live On pay-per-view, so a lot's going to be coming down the pipeline here. And so, I would like you guys to stick around and be a part of it. And there we go. Oh, now, nice jumping knee by Sean. Look at how Finn Balor there. Finn Balor already in, uh, in huge trouble, and I guess the, the difference is, the thing is, Last time these two guys went one-on-one uh, -on -one again back on the uh, AOA episode 5, Sean did a lot of flying around to a point where it really kind of caught in the match, honestly. I mean, like ever since then, he kind of slowed himself down a bit. Lucas more, you know, more in a striking game, he still does. Uh, you know, he still does fly around the ring. Sometimes we know Sean, we'll definitely see that and we saw an example of that earlier. Let's see how he does and oh snap! What the heck? Dragon Twitch? Dragon Cutter, Dragon Cutter by, by, oh, that's not good. Ooh, nice shot by Sean. I'm off of the corner, a little rope there. That's on it. And Finn Balor catching on with a clothesline. I wonder how uh, other club members, AJ Styles, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson are feeling. About the return of Finn Balor. Drops them down, drop kick to the side of the head. I think you give a boy a concussion. In a big way. And Finn Balor can follow up. He'll definitely be on track here. He's getting a victory. Looks like he's definitely going to help himself. Over the top rope. Jump pick. And he's all taking this boy down. The dude of the north has the trouble in the crowd. And in Baltimore are receptive. of this great action here. And we got sent back into the rain. Finn Balor got something else in mind. Springboard. Oh, snap. Whipped it with that springboard drop kick. Straight into the cover. Two and a kick out at two. And Sean. I got the arm. I'm gonna wear down the shoulder. Sean right, not a bad idea. Really trying to really trying to put some put some torque on that thing. 
Sean able to roll through, roll out of the situation, shot right to the midsection. That was a damn play there. Sean able to get into the corner. Then the ball the other way. Ooh! Sean able to get into the corner. Then the ball off the other way. Ooh! Nice combination there by Sean. And there we go. That's big bag. There we go. Down to go. Take him out. Take him down. Down to Dugo. Sean is feeling it. Sean is revving up here. He definitely got something cool in mind. DDT. Busting him open. Lining him up. Lining him up. Silent drink. Oh, get that out of here. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Maybe that DDT may have surged something in Finn Balor. Maybe the sight of Finn Balor seeing his own blood maybe makes him probably realize, okay, I got to put this thing away before this thing gets too out of hand here. And he's definitely on track to doing that. Got him lined up. Got him level. Here we go. Shotgun drops it right to the chest. And now, Finn Balor going up top. Looking to put the exclamation point on this thing with the coup de gras and oh snap missed it coup de gras missed get right to the chest gonna keep the mid section get his shot by oh he won't be trying it get that out of there don't deny like get you know, I was trying to think of an analogy it doesn't really work whatever Sean trying to get back on the offense and battle the reversal and then Sean off I'm pretty sure Austin Wallace which by the way we're gonna be hearing from next I'm curious to see what that babbling idiot is going to have to say, but whatever. Probably going to talk more about himself and how everybody loves them. Not going to talk about the fact that Sean's probably going to embarrass his dude on the game. No, 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 no. Not going to talk about that at all. Not going to talk about the fact that he, you know, doesn't deserve to be All-Star Champion in the first place. He's probably worried about Sean. Then again, I know it. I'm pretty sure all of y'all out there knows it. He's not going to want to admit it. So there you go. Wait a second. Oh, snap, he caught him. Silent Dream super kick, and that probably, hopefully, will be the fate of Austin Wallace at home again. But anyway, here's the cover to Finn Balor. It's, oh. Finn Balor staying alive, but something tells me Austin Wallace ain't even that resilient. Whatever. Um. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like this time as All-Star Champion is coming to a close here. Some tell me Karma is really going to start biting this dude, and I want to be there, and I'm going to be there to see it. The drop kick again before Finn Balor. I'm going to open again. I always been the thing that's going to drop kick again. Let's see if he can get it. Here we go. Oh, well, he saw that coming that time. I was correct. But he saw it coming, and Sean, beautiful suicide dive. A way to kick off, a way to uh, kick off this episode of AOA here. And then from Baltimore, Maryland. Home of the greatest NFL football team, the Baltimore Ravens. Anyway. Oop. Oh, the heck was under the barricade. And we're sending him back in the ring. And Sean. That's Finn Balor lined up. Rainboard, bro. Oh, get that out of here. 1916. Fighting around the head. Now we're gonna try to go for the cover. Smart man. It may be it here. For Sean Wright, no, no. Sean showing that heart right there. Sean, a tough arm, but they're gonna stay the lead. Let's like drop kick there. Sean's kipping back up. Here we go. Sean looking like he's about to start firing back in this thing. That's back elbow. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh, snap. The quickness of Sean paying off. Springboard. Drop kick. I thought he was about to take out the referee. Beautiful setup. Beautiful combination. Nightmare unleashed. Oh, snap. Finn Balor rolled through it. Get down there, ref. One. Two. It's, oh, two count. That probably could have been a three out of the ref not taking Infinity and Beyond to get down there. What were you waiting on, Buzz Lightyear, to give you a signal? Come on, Buzz, what you doing? Here you go. Infinity and Beyond going to the middle, going to the top rope, jumping down, top rope, jumping down. He's about to pay for it. He should have just made a decision. And he didn't. And Sean's about to make him pay for it. Big job. DDT again. 
Heavily working on that head and neck. And the ball. Ooh. Going to the rib. Look at the drop kick. There we go. All on top of the game. One second. Oh, just on top of the game. Look at that springboard up for a Nice little athleticism. You got to bring it in here to kick it off, kick up the off here. Okay, maybe Sean learned a bit, man. Sean probably learned a little bit from the last time. Keeping it simple with the axe handle didn't really work. Now, wait a second. Roll up. Roll up. Roll up. Thanks, Finn Balor may steal the thing. Uh, not steal the thing. The Finn. Uh, rope break. Rope break. Rope break. Rope break. What is it? Ram. Ram. Bro. That was a clear thing. Rope break. What is wrong with you? I like Sean and everything, but come on. Come on. Come on, Ram. The match continues. My buster. Rev, what is wrong with you? Are, are you okay? Whatever you and JoJo are doing together, stop it. We do not approve. We do not approve of any of that. And I do approve of that. Now the night pop up working wrong. Let's finish it through the midsection. Dragon cutter again. Ring twist cutter, whatever the move is called. I don't know. I'm going to pull it there. I'm freelance, I'll do whatever I wish. I got free reign to do what I wish out of here. DDT, yeah, get that out of here. Ooh, snap. Uh oh, Sean saw that coming. He probably thought Phil was gonna, oh. Phil was ready though. Phil was ready, thinking about a step ahead. And he did. Rain Buster. Coup de gras. Again. Oh no, Sean is no Sean ain't stupid. Okay, Sean sees that coming. He knows what's going on. He knows what's going on around here. He probably knew that Finn Balor was gonna set up for that coup de gras again, and referee checking on Finn Balor. I guess he's good to go in an inverted Phoenix Flash from Sean Wright. Stuff like that. That was downright impressive. And wow, Finn Balor is staying. Alive in this one. How much longer will he take? We don't know. Now, wait a second. Oh, snap, Charmer right to that sling blade. That may have opened the door wide open for Finn here. Here we go. Send the mop to end it. Coup de gras. Oh, snap, he gets countered again. He got countered again. Nightmare at least dumping him on the back of his head. Sean was finally able to connect. Then Balor couldn't connect the Coup de Gras, so may it cost him here. And yes, it does. Sean Wright picking up an impressive one. Wow. I mean, both guys came out, brought their A game like we had a feeling they would. And neither of them disappointed. And look at this, Finn Balor trying to go for the, uh, the Coup de Gras on several occasions that didn't really, uh, really work out. For this guy, Finn, Finn Balor, you know, he, he brought it again, came out, brought a big game. Sean was just a step quicker. He learned from his, his mistake. JoJo apparently still isn't here. So here's your winner, Sean Wright. I will do my, I will do her job for her. And she is not present to do her for God knows what reason. Uh, but anyway, Sean Wright looking good. Gain is the momentum towards Armageddon. Where hopefully he will shut off the Wallace up with the frog and let off the Wallace find another way to weasel his way out of this situation. But until then, congratulate wait, wait a second, who is that? Oh no, 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 no. This is looking all too familiar. No, oh come on. Tyson Young with the steel chair. Oh god, this scene is looking all too familiar. This is looking all too familiar from when Titan Young took Sean out the first time. Set the, oh, now Sean counter, Sean counter, Nightmare Elite, down goes Tyson. And Sean is fighting back this time. Sean is beating the daylight out of Titan Young with that steel chair over and over and over and over again. Good, and I have a question. If Sean Wright, if, if sorry, if, Austin Wallace is such a friend to Tyson Young, then where is he? Hmm? Where? Where is he? He's watching a friend get beat half a minute. 
Tyson, this dude does not care about you. Wake up. Realize that. I think Sean got a little bit of revenge on his mind. I can promise you that. Oh, Josh. Nightmare Unleashed right on the steel chair. I'm already impressed. I will say about the camera work and leave the way away from here. We're in action from all angles, fam. And this is not about to be, uh, and I guess no matter what angle you look at it, not the younger than huge trouble here. Uh -oh. um, Sean? He got the steel chair. Oh, God! On the top of his head. Um. Um. Sean? Oh! Sean, you might just start it. Listen, bro. I mean, I get revenge and all. I mean, trust me, this is one of the third after everything Tyson did to him, but. I get revenge and all, but this is... Wait, Sean's grabbing a ladder? Sean's got a ladder, what? Tyson's still laid out on the table, what? Sean? Listen, dude, Sean, the night just started. Like, we don't need a death count already. The night just started. I mean, come on, man, what is... What is he doing? No, no, Sean, Sean, that's a big leap. That is a big leap. Oh my God! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh Holy shit. my Holy shit. God! What a leap! He's dead. Tyson's dead. This Tyson's dead. What a leap from Sean! We need to get the medical help out here. God! What? What the heck was? Let's watch this again! Let's watch this again! That was the most dentifying thing I've seen Sean do! Oh my goodness! Yo, we need to get some help out here! But let's send it in the back with Jason! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jason Wells and joining me in my get to the time, Mr. Austin Wallace. And I'm sorry, Austin. I'm just I'm just disgusted at what I just saw out there from Sean Wright. And I know Tyson Young is your friend and everything, so 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 what are your thoughts, man? I'm devastated, man. That was my friend. That was my friend. And everybody's gonna probably be going like, oh, why didn't you go out there to help him? Listen, do you, do you know what it's like to be around a minute like Sean Wright, huh? Do you guys know what that man can do? We saw what he did out there to Tyson Young. I hope he's okay. I really do. I hope he's okay. Because I, if I know Tyson, Tyson is a strong-willed man and a strong-willed individual and he will still be able to be in my corner at Armageddon. I hope. But Sean, what you did was over the line. And people are going to say it was revenge. No, you did it. Because you're nothing more than an animal. You are nothing more than a person that should be tamed, that should be locked up. You should be arrested for assault. And Jason, I can promise you this, at Armageddon, I will get revenge. I will get revenge. And I'm, I'm going to ask you, if you and I can make some changes to AOA. Starting now, yes, yes, you and I need to make a change here in AOA. Are you with me? Absolutely, I'm with you. Because I feel that things need to change around here. But how about, let's get away from all of these people. And let's talk, and talk better. We're gonna make a change together. Because tonight, enough is enough. Let's talk better. Okay, what type of change are y'all talking about? I'm, I'm curious. And, and Wallace, let me, I really want to address this blonde-headed highlight, highlighter looking summer gun real quick. The following um, contest is scheduled for Oh, now Jojo wants to do her job. Making okay. his way to the ring from Charleston, South Carolina, weighing in at 233 pounds, Andrew Lamb. Let me say this. Austin Wallace, notice 
Notice, guys, how he didn't say he hoped Tyson Young is okay. He, he Notice how he didn't say that Tyson, he hoped Tyson Young is able to walk, all of that. Notice how he said, I hope he is okay so he can still be in my corner at Armageddon. Are you kidding me? What type of friend are you? Oh, wait, you're not one. Right. Tyson Young deserves better than to be saddled with a human highlighter, okay? He does. And Jason, what type of change are you talking about? You went from being United States champion to having a no potential invitation over which you lost the second you got a real some real competition in front of you. To an interviewer. What type of change are y'all gonna make? I mean y'all can make the change in the what served at catering. And apparently some herbal substances may may be on that list, cause y'all two want some other stuff and y'all think y'all gonna do anything different around here. But I may be wrong. And his I may be wrong. From Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 232 pounds, Jay Morgan. Talk about a man that's trying to get lost in his work right now. From all accounts, Jay Morgan is a broken mess. And for those that missed it, uh, on NXT TV, the most recent episode of NXT TV, which will be linked down there in the description, go check them out. Jay Morgan found out that Raylan, his, I'm guessing, former girlfriend now, locked lip with somebody else. Come on, man. And he, and he found out in the worst way possible. I feel so sorry for this guy. His head is probably not in the right place. His heart probably not in the right place. He's all messed up. Okay, and just and just the past month alone, Morgan has been going through it. Okay, like he he, he got the rail and everything. We thought everything was gonna be all fine and dandy. All right, then he then he had the thing with Duke Zender trying to the money man Duke Zender trying to get involved and everything and. And Morgan was getting a little jealous, I'll give you that, getting a little bit too jealous. So he had that going on. Then he had a world championship match to deal with when he was unsuccessful at. And then he finds this out? He could not have come at the worst time for Morgan here. And, he, and Morgan is trying to remain confident. You can tell he's dead behind the eyes, man. Let's see how he does tonight against Andrew Lance, who up to this point has not really been looking too hot himself. Here we go, and I, I can tell, I can tell something, something isn't all there with Morgan, man. I, 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 feel, I, feel so, I feel so bad for the guy. I mean, he's looking, he's wrestling his heart out here. And yeah, one, of, one of the things, like, you, you, you laugh to keep from crying, he, he is wrestling to keep from, he's probably wrestling to keep from crying. I'm sure Morgan's going to bring a fight to Lance and everything, but... Oh, no. oh goodness. Oh goodness. Morgan is just, just keying off here. And he's probably using his using his anger, using his emotion, and just playing it to land. To say the least. Oh. Shot. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. Yo. Oh, oh, man. What the heck? Ooh! What a move from Morgan, and Morgan normally would have went for a cover. Oh, man! Morgan would have usually went for a cover, but he, he is not doing any of that right now. Oh! Yeah, talk about taking your emotion and, and using it to, to, to benefit you. This is it. Got there from, from Andrew Lance. Lance has kind of got a weather with emotional storm from Jay Morgan here in the early going. And he's kind of doing that. Nice drop kick to the face right there. And Jay to. Oh, thanks. Oh. Uh, Lance. Andrew Lance last episode he lost to the AJ foul. Tapped out to AJ Foul. Wait a second. He got him up. Oh, no. That power by Mumbler was trying to put him away. Rope break. Rip. And then one of the bottom row. That's a rope break. 
Um, we need to go check out Rip there for real. But he, well, he tapped the AJ style. So, it's kind of a tale of two losers here. I'm sorry, but it is. But then again, who knows? Who knows? Maybe one of these guys can get pulled in. Because we do know that the I did say he picked eight random names and they're gonna be competing in a pre-show battle royal. And the winner of that battle royal can determine whether it is the All-Star or the United States Championship they go after. So maybe Morgan may be, may be in that bag, who knows? Maybe Lance name could be in that bag, who knows? You know, maybe Lance, well not in the bag, but like maybe, maybe Lance name could have been someone that could have been drawn for the match. You never know. We could definitely walk out of here with something. Oh. We could walk out with a win against Morgan here. Holy oh, smoke! Morgan is okay. All right. Morgan wrapping himself up in his work. We're probably going to be seeing him after the show in, 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 in catering with a giant bowl of ice cream and sad music playing on the radio. But for right now, we're not seeing that side of Morgan. I wonder what his song choices are going to be. And I will always love you. I mean, is he going to be singing all of me to himself? Um, I don't know. What love song do y'all? What, what, what love song do y'all think Morgan is going to be singing to himself with a ball of my time? Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, um, <laughs> I really don't mean to kick a man while he's down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to provide some type of entertainment out here, man. Ballin' elbow. <laughs> oh man, Lance is in Lance is in trouble here. Lance probably might move to a guy that already got nothing else to do. Well, he says he might. He might. He might move to a guy that already got nothing else to do. And what can that really say about Lance? That was a belly by Moore. We're firing up here. See what he got. Oh! Jeez, what a fall! Goodness gracious! To the outside goes Lance. Oh, I'm going to the top rope here. You're looking at it. Oh! Now, that impressive leg drop we've seen Morgan hit time and time again, and we've seen him hit that recently. That was nice. That was a nice move right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, on the floor. Good. Yeah, we're definitely seeing a more aggressive side of Morgan here to say the least. Man. Good gracious. He's going cool, but he can probably start rebounding his life with a win here. Oh, uh-oh. I'm talking about that back elbow. Lance is firing back up. Under the ropes he go. Uh oh, ooh. They missed it. Oh, nice combination there by Morgan. Impressive. Oh, that's for him again. And Morgan not really concerned about a cover. Notice you have not seen Morgan go for a whole lot of cover in this matchup. I'm telling you, he can't, he's letting his emotions take over. He just, he just unleashing anger and frustration. And Lance, you just so happen to be the target here. Uh oh. Ooh, that's counter. That's counter from the. Uh, Ooh. Oh, he got over the head. He can land. Oh, nice drop kick. I'm gonna say it. Here we go. He got him in trouble. That swinging net breaker. Oh, man. Here we go. Not in Baltimore. They don't know. Right? about this. Yeah, off of the court and again. Again, Morgan is just moving. Like Morgan is just moving. Not again, not really. You can tell he's not really thinking one hundred percent about his action. Just like someone like Morgan probably would have went for a cover on a several on several different occasions. I don't think Morgan is attempted to pin this match. I don't remember. I don't think Morgan is even really attempting a whole lot of covers in this match. And they caught him there. Man's got him up. Power him on one blow. Down he goes. Uh, we got a 
Do it about the land. Barely in. All right. Got it up. Powerbomb one more again. Great new cover. One, two, three. And Lance picking up the victory. Finally. That three wins total. For Andrew Lance here. He beat Adrian Ockley in his debut. He beat Johnny Gargano in the episode of AOA Live. And then he just beat Jay Morgan here tonight. So, yeah. Three, three wins total. So, Mr. Uh, Andrew Lance here. Here is your winner, Andrew Lance. Good. Good. You won a match. I don't think the vote of confidence is going to be any higher for you, mind you, but you're getting somewhere. It's a start. It's a start. You always, you always want to want to start somewhere, Lance. You always want to, always want to start somewhere, and I think that's a pretty good start. Let's see if we can keep the uh, the momentum rolling as we move on here. Two women's action with a war zone rematch. Between Carolyn Amber and Angelina. Not title, of course. Yeah. Okay, can JoJo quit stepping out, please? Please. You have a job to do. Stay in the arena. Do your job. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Where did she go this time? Okay. Anyway, Carolyn Amber. I've been dominant. I mean, we saw what she did to that poor lady guys in the last episode. But she just absolutely woman handled her. And then Dakota, Kai of all people, came out and, you know, challenged her, got in her face, got in her face and over face and face and said, hey. I'm gonna prove myself to be worthy to face you even if it is at her expense. What does she mean by that? And we'll find out. Here comes Angelina Spear making her way down to the ring. Probably definitely uh, coming down here with revenge on her mind for what Carolyn did to her at war though. Chucking her from the inside of the ring all the way to the outside as she went splat on the floor. And then the uh, the power bomb into the exposed to the, the power bomb into the exposed steel turnbuckle. The back of her head and neck hitting that thing. I'm surprised she's still standing there today. But I guess it just shows the toughness of Angelina. She's probably looking to bring a huge fight to the women's champion. She's definitely going to try to do anything in her power to make sure that she gets. As she gets back in uh, it back in that top spot, back in title contention, and probably become AOA women's champion again. So let's see what, what happens there. And it's fair of course set to go, set for uh set for action as usual. And wait a second, Carolyn Amber stepping inside the ring. Not even about to not even about to waste time and here we go. And here we go. This is a match of the brawl, kinda of like what we expected it to be. Oh, that's counter there by, by Carolyn. Wait a second. Angelina counter. Yo. They stunned each other. They take down from Angelina. Oh, oh. And they have something crazy in mind. Didn't really get it there. Now Angelina waiting on Carolyn to get back in the ring. And look at this. Angelina just unloading on Carolyn. And here we go. Now Carolyn doesn't do the same. And these two ladies are just going at it here. Angelina wants some revenge thing on it. She's gonna get it. Get the turn. Oh! Jeez. That power of Carolyn begin to take over. And once that happens, it's almost like a game over. I mean, if we saw that happen at War Zone, we need to win at it. Ooh! Goodness. Right to the mouth. Straight into the cover. Two. And a, ooh, and I took that at two. Man. Ooh. 
shots right there. Over and over. Oh, got her up. Oh, good. Scale of the knees right to the side. Repeatedly. And follow it. Down she goes. Wait a second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Ooh. How can it really come to full fruition there? All right, up to her feet here. Oh, steam road. Yo, where the train that hit at? Oh, wait, no, she's looking at it. I'm on. Run to the rope. Ow. Down she goes. Now to the corner again. Ooh. Look at these down with Blowing these body blows in an uppercut. He's up and then he switches the cycles and all she's been holding she's been holding it down really I mean she's been repping good for the switch of the cycle to say the least that's the women's champion uh oh 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 no look at that choke plan from Carolyn oh my goodness straight into the cover two ooh she got at two Angelina staying alive in this thing. Carolyn wonder what she got to do next. Make sure that Angelina is able to stay down. Off to the rope, boot to the face again. But, oh, wait a second. Angelina's back up. Went around. Oh, here we go. Look at the fire. Look at that intensity. Being brought for super kicker right to the jaw. Have fun eating properly. Oh, woo, she tried it. Uh oh. That breaker. Uh oh. Ooh, up and over and down we go. Here we go. Ooh. I'm right to the back. And again. Off and around. Oh. Yeah, kind of caught her with the clothesline. Taking her down. And wait a second. The Carolyn just continuing to stomp away here. And wait a second. And that's Dakota Kai's music. Dakota Kai called the distress and Carolyn Asperia there. And look at him. That opened the door for Angelina to start firing back. Dakota playing a little bit of mind games there. Oh. Oh. Angelina unloaded with these combinations. Here we go. Oh, that's Thunder. Oh. Got right to the face of Carolyn. That probably threw Carolyn completely off of her game here. Here we go. Ooh, right to the jaw. Talk about throwing someone like Carolyn completely off of their game. And now Angelina's unloading with these strikes here. And kicks and elbows and forearms and palm strikes and anything to think of. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That really opened the door for Angelina to get something going there. And she's trying to wear Carolyn down in the corner. Ooh, she went to the face. What up? Up the rope again. Knee strike. He's trying to knock her out probably. Yeah, that's probably the best route to go. Uh-oh. Got her up. That sister's kit, and now she goes. Sister's kid. Angelina feeling it. Carolina, oh, Carol, is probably all. Sister's kit again. Sister's kit again. Two sister's kits in a row. Angelina picking up a huge win. Thanks in part to the distraction from Dakota Kai. What? You know Carolyn's gonna be furious about this one. Dakota, I hope you know what you are doing. Because if not, you are really gonna regret your decision. I hope you know what you are doing. You are poking the bear. 
with a spike right now. Do you know how irritated the bear would get if you poked it with a spike? That's what you're doing to Carolyn right now. That distraction causing her the match. Angelina picking up a picking up a win, getting a in the Monica of revenge here. What happened at War Zone? The one, two, the three. And Angelina is victorious. And I can only imagine the consequences that the code is gonna face. Again, I hope you know what you're doing. Until then, congratulations. Where's your little spear? Here tonight. Hey, hey, wait a second. Whoa, what the heck? Yo. What the? Who the world? Somebody attacked Lita. Who the heck did that? What the world is going on? You know, crazy to think, man, that we almost gone from AOA. It feels good, except, man, you don't want to leave a brother behind. You're right. I don't. You know, and especially, man, since you know, I'm the one that kind of, you know, show monster, you know, kind of just how to be vicious, you know what I mean? Just how to be vicious inside that ring and all that stuff, bro. So, I mean, I mean, hey, you know, it would have been cool partnering with monster and everything, but we, we, we got to move on, man. Yeah, we do. And who knows, maybe our, our path will cross with the big man once again. And wait a second. I got an idea. How about... Why not? Well, what are you thinking, man? What's your, what's your game plan? How about... We talk to the big guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about... Next week on AOA. We talk to the big guy. And trying to get him to come with us over the NXT TV. I don't know how we're going to do it. Maybe he could do something to get himself fired, whatever the deal. But do something that way he can end up in NXT TV with us, man. Think about it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. That's a brilliant idea, man. You always thinking about stuff, bro. Hey, when my mind ain't on freak, it's on how to make the money. And monster is money. You feel me? Yeah, bro. Well, how about that? We ain't competing, right? By the way, why are you in your ring gear anyway? I decided to put on my ring gear because I want to be ready. I don't know if the guys have something for me that's some sneaky plan for us so that's why i decided to put on my ring gear but you know what since he's obviously not going to be putting us in a match tonight how about we go out we go visit the freaks of baltimore and then we come back we come back here how's that sound yeah man sounds great all right man let's bounce out of here i gotta ask how the freaks are anywhere from Yo, man, they be crazy out here. I remember one time this chick came do what exactly? Or you know what? Never mind. That's, that's a question I may not want to know the answer to. Um, so camera guys, uh, thanks for cutting back here. And here comes the world champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Fort Worth, Texas. Weighing in at 220 pounds, the Action World Champion, Darren T. Champion. Well, here comes Darren Tonnelton, the current AOE World Champion, such a trade Andrew Lance at AOE's biggest pay-per-view, Vince Finale, AOE Armageddon. And so, with that being said, he finds himself in a bit of a bind here tonight. He finds himself in a bit of a bind because he has to face Forsaken in a regular one-on-one -on -one match. I guess that's fortunate because Forsaken said it's stages two and three where all the fun stuff happens. So he's lucky, I guess. Um, however you can be lucky facing this dude, I got no earthly idea. But we're going to find a way. He's going to find a way. And hopefully... But they can nothing beat the dude after this. <laughs> that he tends to try to do with everyone he's in the ring with. God forbid if these two were to were to face off. 
And I'm ready to look at the title. If this was a title match, man, you probably might just want to update those graphics real quick. But still. Dragon making his way down to the ring, formerly known as Demon, with a former AOA United States champion. Part of a dominant tag team with Reaper, and then we all know how that turned out. Unfortunately, unfortunately they never really won the tag team titles. They came close. They came like really close. We thought they were going to win it on a uh, in the in the gauntlet match, but apparently not. So the these two guys they, they could have been former tag team champions as well, but we all know what happened there. History is history, and we are now here. And for thinking now, I got a is on a mission. Dan Reaper won the raw to to pay him back, probably tenfold. <laughs> For everything that Reaper did to him back at next level. And now he has a matchup against there, the current world champion. So if for second wins this match, it will be that will definitely uh, elevate his game to see what he can do against uh, against him. Or against uh, uh, see what he can do. It'll really elevate his game. To probably fake Darren in the future at some point for the World Championship, assuming he can't be in by that point. This is a huge uh, make or break match for Forsaken, but the question is, is he looking past Forsaken? Is he look or is he looking past himself? Is he looking past Darren to Reaper? Let's we'll see if this matchup gets underway here. Oh my goodness! And I think it's Gabriel. I don't think he's looking past Darren. I think he's about to try to run right through Darren to get the to get to Reaper here. And oh man, this is not a good start for the world champion to say the least. Here, kind of especially now he's got to buy himself. I mean, because Cross Cross Burn is preparing to hopefully regain his NBW World Championship against Max Wolf. And our main event tonight, and a big boot sending Darren to the outside. I'm just thinking going right after him here. Ooh, he's kicking to the midsection. Gonna throw him back in, and Darren kind of needs to somehow uh, catch. For thinking slipping, it's gonna be kind of hard to do that, but he can he can try anyways. And then so far, it looks like For is not making a mistake. Uh, like we really don't see the dude making a whole lot of mistakes. So Darren's gonna need to try to find a opening in order to in order to, to catch him. Oh the clothesline there didn't really uh really do nothing there. Going for the cover already. And then with a kick out of two there the Brazilians on the gun. I mean you have to be Brazilian the way he won the uh the world championship the way he had there over his shoulder and oh and slipping out the back door going to work on the knee there. All for taking I think he did found found the opening and now he's gonna just Lay into him here with these strikes. And now I like how. Oh, wait a second. I was about to say, I like how Darren wasn't really allowing for thinking any any breathing room, but he inadvertently did. And almost cost him a massive two count again. I think it almost got the win over the over Darren. And here we go. Ooh. And we're going to get the knees up right to the back. Ooh. Close line not taking him down. These elbows, though, they may do something. They got him against the ropes anyway. Here we go. Oh, what a kick there, but still didn't drop him. Elbow, drop him to a knee. Try to go for an Instagram, he missed the Instagram. Now Darren staying on top of him, though. The throw for taking has a chance to really rebound. Darren was right back in his face with the elbow, and I think this is the, the opening that Darren needed. That clothesline did take him down. Darren's not letting up with that suicide dive, though. Darren is not letting up at all, and that's exactly what he got to do. Stay quick. Keep the dude, keep the dude in your face. Don't give him any distance. And you see, the thing, and obviously, clearly has a reach advantage over Darren. Look at this. Oh, that's the elbow drop. And I was working on the lower back now. I got that big man down. He's got flexing muscles there. I don't know. That's why the moving the world. But hey, he's doing it. Really cool, man. Really strikes out my Darren. Darren opening up here on Forsaken. Not a bad idea. I don't know if uh, getting cocky is the best thing to do in this situation, but hey, you do what you feel is best. And look, oh, that's exactly what I said. That was not the wise idea. Got caught. Medrano got himself caught. 
to take a look at the end of bad boy. Headless hook. Oh, mm, we're gonna go with that forearm over the center of that headless horseman. But he didn't get it. Now they're able to block the forearms. And now continue with the striking game, trying to chop down the big seven footer. Go up again. Up down. Oh, gotta go with that spinning heel kick. Didn't really connect. He missed it. Ever so slightly. And that may have messed up his whole game plan there. He just leaps off. Down he goes. And they're gonna get all fired up here. Right here in Baltimore. And we're gonna leave. We haven't really seen him taking a whole lot in single action. And when we do, it's something special. And he's doing that right now against the world champion. About to go, oh, about to take off and fly, but but Darren was able to counter. Having the wherewithal to stay out of range and drive his head to the canvas. Look at this, roll through. And look at him. Wow. That roll through power ball strength on the play from, from Darren. Probably oh, definitely gonna look. He just slapped this dude. Did you have a death wish or something? What's wrong with him? He's the world champion, that's important. Oh, what a, ooh! There you go, all part of the body of the weapon. The slap again from there. And they're thinking they were to fire back. Ooh! Go on, right to the mouth. Oh, right to the face. And for Sagan now, got the world champion in trouble yet again. And it seemed like almost every time Darren tried to get the ball rolling, they're thinking they were to to, to get out of the situation. Ooh, going to go for a running slot, running a, we going to go for a running boot, didn't really work out. And Darren, it's, oh, shooting star prep, and look like the knees caught for thinking in the back of the head. Bird man to get back to his feet, can really gain the momentum here in this match, and Darren is going to be the one to do that. And probably knock him out of that one. Then we got him stunned. That four, oh, no. Oh, no. But they can sit up. Oh goodness. Headless Horseman down he goes. Headless Horseman dropping him. Dude, this may be it. Ooh. World champion staying alive here. But arguing again, that could have been a world break, but hey, hey, hey whatever. Let's know the family is good. Hey, going to the top rope. We're taking a look at the fly. Oh! But they can look at the fly down at the world one and say, nah, brother, we good. And to get up out of there. And look at it. DDT on the floor. Wow. A violent shot dropping him right on his head. And then send him into the barricade and use the outside of his ring as a weapon as he should. Now he's for taking his head off the ring post. This boy in all types of trouble. There we go. Calling him up to his feet, springboard, get caught in midair, and then look at that, Darren fighting out of it. Darren realized he was in a bad spot, able to fight out of it. Super kick, and Florida key. Dropping him on the back of his head. Setting up for the BFDs. Best super kick ever connects. And it doesn't go for the cover though. Hmm. Let me go for the cover. See they realize they're gonna have to do a lot more damage. Silver bullet knee strike right to the head. And Darren just lets it up again. What is that? Get the knee. Silver bullet knee strike again. Two times laying him out with that thing. Oh wow. What? Oh, got to go to something there to make it with the counter. Maybe Darren should have tried to end this thing. Maybe, maybe Darren knows that it's going to take a lot to put this man down. I mean, anybody that can cover, recover from a beating that Reaper gave, definitely, definitely show us something. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Look at it. Oh, man. What a power bomb. And a kick out at two. And it, the thing is busted open here. By the silver bullet knee strike. Ooh, he's right to the back. 
Uh oh, there's something there. Get out of here with that. Ooh, there's something to check. Hi, Darren. Here we go. Nice close line. Get to the back. Ooh. Oh, good. Darren is just kind of lighting into him here. Going to the outside lane. Probably need to catch a breather. And we'll probably make sure he's out of range, too. Oh, wait. There, there's for taking. There's for taking right there. Look at that. Gotta go for a strike there. Get that out of here. Into the barricade goes Darren. It, oh, snap! There's a sling for Sakin. Right into the ring pose. Look at this. DDT on the floor. That got a wide opening. That's a huge opening for, for Darren there. Ooh, what a elbow. Right to the jaw. I thought we were going to get back in the ring here. The red line kind of sick. They're going to throw Sakin back in. Seven. What's there going? I'm going to catch him a breather, I think. No, he's walking up the ramp. Where did he? He kind of aids him. Wait a second. He's throwing this match again. This is the second time. He's, oh. Yeah. Of course. Darren throws the match again. Are you, are you kidding me? I mean, Darren... I'll, give, I'll, I'll say this about Darren. Darren has been playing kind of smart. As much as I hate to admit it, as much as I think it's kind of a punk move, he's kind of playing it smart. He knows that V.I. is putting him in these types of matches to wear him down to set him up. And it's not like he's not going out there and doing the match. Here is he your seems winner, to avoid, Sinister. He seems to be getting out of these situations knowing that he, that, that he has a title match at Armageddon, and he's gonna throw this one after Staking gets the win via count out here. And there's Darren right there, just walk, took time to walk to the, uh-oh. Uh oh there's the ice. Oh, Darren, Darren, what would that stunt you just pulled out there? Stunt? What? A stunt? Oh, what, me getting out of there? Bro, you been in the ring with that dude? I don't think he has. And plus I got bored. I got bored, I'm okay? Got bored. I'm bored. I'm We're gonna have him beat anyway, so why make the fans suffer through something that's already a foregone conclusion? Oh, you wow. got bored. Oh, so you got sick and tired of you of you of doing your job, and so you walked out. That's basically what happened. You got sick and tired of that? You, you, you have a mind lucky that I don't think. No, go ahead, spit it out. Go ahead, spit it out. Say what you gonna say. Man up, come on. Say what you gonna say. What you scared? I'm gonna deck you in the mouth again. Guy, you lucky I don't have half a mind to strip you of that championship right now. Ooh. Okay. Well, what you gonna do about it? Huh? Whether you like me or not, I've been taking AOA to the next level, man. Whether you like it or not, I am the reason why people tune into this show. And you know it. Let me tell you why I do know. I know. That Andrew Lamb got all the capability of wiping that smile off your face. And I do know this, that just in case you get, you, you, you feel like getting bored again and walking out, well, you can't. Because your match at Armageddon, it will be a no count out match. Well then. No count out. That's the best you got. You got two guys competing in, in, a, in a chaos rain match, and that's the best you got? <laughs> All right, bro. Cool. That's, uh, <laughs> that's not going to scare me, man. That doesn't scare me. That doesn't intimidate me at all, actually. You heard the no count countout in Armageddon? Dude, you just opened the floodgate for me to kick the crap out of this dude. Fine, whatever. No count out. I guess Lance and Armageddon cool by me. All right, good. And your cocky attitude. Get out of this building. Get your stuff and get out of here. I don't go on your terms, Steve. I go when I want to go. But I'm going to make you feel like you have a semblance of power over me. Because I was planning on leaving anyway, so... Let's just say... I'll leave to make it look like you actually have a set somewhere. 
Wow. It, as they always say, Darren is hashtag savage. But, dude, you might want to check yourself before you wreck yourself, man. And he walked out of this match again. Walked out of the match again. And now we got a no counter match against Lance and Armageddon. Here come Weapons of Math Destruction and these two guys, they're going to be putting their championships on the line against the New World Nation at Armageddon. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Pat, and at a combined weight of 586 pounds, the champions, Ryan Steven and Jack Steven. Weapons of mass destruction. These two guys have been absolutely doing, have been doing just that. They've been on a path of destruction. They had a, they had a little bump in the road when they lost in the two out of three fall map, but then they regained the title in a steel cage match on the last episode with Ryan doing the craziest thing I never think I see him do. Jumping from the top of the cage, crushing Seth Byrne, probably breaking his ribs in the process. But Ryan is still here, did everything he could, and then escaped from out of the door. And so both guys, Weapon of the Master Trucking Us, brand new anyway, Tag Team Champion for the second time. And anyway, history putting a stop to uh, the third title reign of. Putting a stop to the third title reign of, uh, of Wolfman. These guys that need to kind of get back on the road to success. I mean, AJ Styles hasn't been doing too bad here. Got to win over Andrew Lance last episode, and then essentially, sort of, made the world champion tap out. It still goes down to the record book. AJ Styles beat the world champion, so whatever. I'm going to call him in and take what I got. But nonetheless, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallo, they better be ready to rock and roll when they face the world tag team champion. The weapon of Matthew Strutton is going to be out. They of course you see they're gonna be aligned with uh with Mr. Pac-Man here. And so let's get this thing going and the production team you guys can cut the music. Here we go. Ryan and Carl Anderson starting this thing off and look at Carl Anderson and all types of trouble here in the early going already in the wrong corner. And look at that, that pop-up power slam from Ryan and Jack, the combination. It's, oh, good. Carl Anderson getting tossed around. Carl Anderson getting absolutely tossed around here by weapon of mass destruction. There we go. The tag made again. Shot to the midsection. Bouncing off. Oh, good. Crushing the skull of Carl Anderson. Ooh, back elbow. Oh, man. Who wrecked it I think he's in trouble. Uh-oh, there's Anderson rolling to the out, rolling back out and rolling back in. And I guess that kind of worked. Got the faked out Ryan there and it's a success. Two European uppercut. Dropping the big man. Up to the midsection there. Taking him down, wearing him out. And I'm pretty sure the club is looking to regain tag team gold. I mean, they were former AOA tag team champion. Like in the very early stages, they did beat Alexander Spike and uh, Seth Burns. They did beat Wolfpack to become the tag team champion. Let's we'll see if they can get back on that road again. And oh! The boot right there. And Carr Anderson and now big man Luke Gallo in, in this match, beating down uh, Ryan here. Ooh! Man! We're into a brick wall. Oh! That boot not even dropping, Rob, that power slam sure did. They got going at it here, and Ryan Jack was looking to, to get the tag in, but Lou Gallows is going to stop all of that. We got him firing up in the club. He definitely start taking control here, and Ryan is probably arguably the more banged up one out of the two in the steel cage because he did jump from the top of the cage. 
And he did get busted open during that matchup. And I guess it's smart of the club to kind of wear down Ryan here. Double back body draw. Double team effort there. And now here we go. Oh, we've got a... Got him, look at this. That high low. Taking down Ryan. And they go straight for the cover. Out of the court, not a bad idea in the two count there. For the club. Pretty sure the fouls is looking on. Looking to see if the boys can, you know, help, uh, you know, gain some momentum, recreate the, uh, the momentum. And that, 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 that foul kind of helped start it. They're trying to, trying to get the club back on, uh, trying to get the club uh, back on track here. Oh, what a clothesline. What a clothesline. There's Gallo. There's Gallo holding Ryan to prevent Ryan from going anywhere because he probably could have went and made the tag had he not done that no. Now we'll get, uh, get paid for for his effort. And that opens the door for Anderson to take control yet again. His shoulder person to the ring pole. But Ryan in that knee taking the big man down. I'm in all types of trouble here. Tag is made. Into the corner. Oh, what a dude right to the head. Straight into the cover. Jack is in there in a kind of one. Make sure anything, nothing else happens away. Oh, Anderson taking Jack down with that Lucas press. Man. Pac Man got to be at least a little worried here. And look at this, the high low again to Ryan. And Ryan is just getting absolutely battered here. Oh, the club. Now we're in Baltimore, not really, uh, not really pleased by it. And then going for the cover and coming up next is our main event. The NBW World Championship is on the line of Mac Wilkins 101 against Chris Crockburn. There you go, looking for the tag. Way he caught the ref. Look at Ryan. Ooh. I'm trying to make the tag. Put muck up the energy to get over there and down. Anderson or Gallo and they would stop all of that. Ooh, shot right there. And again. Shot to the midsection. Look at this. He shot over and over to Gallo or to Ryan from Gallo the nice flat jump. I have that taking him down. And in all types of trouble here. He's off to the corner. Now, wait a second, they're probably setting up for that magic kill already. Wait, here we go. Yes, they are. They got him set up. That magic killer. Down goes Ryan. Straight into the cover. Anderson. Go. Cut. Oh, wow. Now they're going to get in there. Break it up again. He's like Gallo's able to hold him off. And that super kick club is really taking control. There we go. He's probably sitting over that gun stun. They got people going for it. Ryan saw it coming though. Blasted with a clothesline. Wait a second, Gallo. Ooh. Oh, wait a second. Anderson accidentally knocked over Gallo. That's a bad look from the part of the club. And now Ryan is the back of the taking control here. Blending in disguise for Ryan as Carl Anderson accidentally took out Gallo. Oh, that power bomb there. But now the power of Ryan taking control. I can throw that out on the floor too. He can get back in. That would be a, a great kudos for the uh, for, for one of the map destruction. It looks like he's back up on his feet. And same for Gallo. Oh, shot right to the back right there. And wait, now Gallo's going to try and let it go. Shot right to the back. Man, wait a second, ooh. Wait a second now. You got Anderson. Ooh, I'll try it. Ooh, shot by Ryan. Forearm by Ryan. I think now Jack is not the legal man. This club is doing it too, but I guess turned out fair play. Double choke slam right there. Now go Carl Anderson. Anderson in trouble here. Two. And oh, and kick at it two and a half. Ryan Logan did believe here. I always thought he had that thing in the uh I always thought he had that thing in the bag. Apparently not. Anderson firing off. Oh 
Oh, now to the back of the head. Absolutely decking him. Here comes Gallo. Here comes Jack. It's hot on his back and swinging the way. Jack with a close line. Close line again. Here we go. Oh, good. Here it comes. Ooh, we're trying it. He's trying it. He's trying. He's trying to get something going. Here we go. Oh, yes. A burst suplex. Ooh, trying to stomp out. Wait a second. Oh, wow. Yo, Jack is firing on, all, firing on all cylinders here. Trying to go for a strike there. Get out. Get that out of the way. To the outside goes Anderson. And, oh, Gallo just slung him halfway across. Oh, slung him halfway. I don't know. I don't know about the over there. Slung him right there, though. Ooh, a slap from Jack. And Jack ain't playing any game. He's got a ball one on their feet for them. The match of the two teams are putting on. Goodness. We tried it. Ooh, we went to the midsection. Oh. And oh, and the outside goes to uh, go Anderson. Oh, go Gallo. Anderson probably is ball on the floor. And I was going to be thinking about it. So Jad taking a little bit of flight there. Knocking down Gallo. Yeah, kind of three. Ooh, oh, head for right to the ring. Oh, There's just a lot about that. That just suck. The Gallo. Going inside the ring. Ooh. I don't know, Gallo. You can all type of trouble here. They're on the wrong side of the ring, to say the least. Oh, wait a second. Oh, hey. Oh, there. Well, they ended, ended up with Lisa up on the apron. Tag is made. And the ropes to go. Oh, double flatjack. The crowd again, not on the, uh, the side of uh, the club. And Ryan was able to get in there and prevent any, prevent anything from happening. Look at where Ryan got Gallo. Oh my goodness, that belly the belly. That huge belly the belly and Ryan now getting a couple of shots in on Anderson while he's in there. Ooh, shot, a couple of shots in by, uh, by, 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 oh. Jack is in the silver, Ryan's in the red. I forgot to move that up. Oh, wait a second. Wait, wait. Wait, what is Pac-Man doing? Pac-Man's not a legal participant in the match. And wait a second. They got Anderson on. No way. What in the world is that? No freaking way. No. Look at that. The triple power. <laughs> Pac-Man is ejected from the match. <laughs> oh my goodness! That, oh, you trying to break that gallery? Not really working out for you, fam. Got right there. Get out of here, gallery. Now sights are focused back on Carl Anderson. I can't believe what I just saw. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pac-Man said, I'm tired of everybody beating up on me. It is my turn. <laughs> and they're going to continue to beat down on <laughs> Here's their weapon again. Oh, my God. This is right to the car. This is it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Weapon of mass destruction. And Pac-Man. <laughs> Pick up the win. <laughs> that was just golden. That was absolutely golden. Pac-Man obviously not afraid to get in there and get down and dirty and take one for the team. As he just did to help out his boys, Jack and Ryan Stevens. That was just great. That was just, that was just great. Two nuclear weapons to Anderson. I don't know how I feel. That should have been the qualification. In all fairness, that really should have been.
should have been a disqualification. Ryan so. Steven and Jack Steven, weapons of mass destruction. Too bad it does have a little bit of an asterisk next to it. But the victory is in the bag for weapons of mass destruction. As we fast forward a little bit to AOA Armageddon. We know, no, we now hear the eight guys are going to be in the pre-show battle royal, and the question is, out of these eight men, who is going to be able to get a shot at either the All-Star or the United States Championship? We're going to find out at our AOA Armageddon pre-show, and we just saw these guys pick up a win with the help of Pac-Man, but at Armageddon... They, are they going to do that same thing when they face the New World Nation, Nate Shields and Dwayne Frost for the AOA Tag Team Championship? Now, Nate Shields and Dwayne Frost won a number one contender in that last episode against the Twisted Disciple to get this shot. But the question is, are they even going to be at 100% by the time this match happens? Because depending on where it is, they still have a TLC match to get through. But also, we have A2J 101 against Johnny Rivers. Now, this should be a classic. I mean, we've seen these two guys kind of play a game of one-upmanship. And last episode, Rivers said that he's going to make sure A2J's chances of beating him are down to zero. So, whose chances of winning is going to be down to zero? We'll find out in Armageddon. And then, James Black versus Mac Wolf and probably be one of, more, one of the more personal matches of the show when they collide for the AOA United States Championship. Now, Mac Wolf is defending the NBW Championship next, but I'm pretty sure Mac Wolf, I'm pretty sure James Black is on the mind of Mac Wolf and seeing how low James Black is willing to go. Mm, Mac Wolf is feeling all types of emotion. Is he going to bring it out to beat James Black in Armageddon? And then the match I can't wait for. Sean Wright, who we saw was victorious earlier tonight, is going to face Austin Wallace for the AOA All-Star Championship. Now, Austin Wallace is devastated, so, so devastated by what happened to Tyson Young at the hands of Sean Wright. So is Tyson Young even going to be able to be in the corner of Austin Wallace? And if he is, is Wallace going to weasel his way out of another championship match? Right, let's hope not. John Wright, do your thing at Armageddon, brother. That's all I'm going to say. And speaking of people doing their thing, Dave, Young Lee, Tennessee, do your job. Beat the New World Nation and rid these guys completely. Because if not, King Kong gets what he wants. Shields and Frost are going to NXT TV. So, come on, guys. You got to pull it together. Team Z, do your thing, man. And then, is Andrew Land going to be able to do his thing, go into Armageddon against a very focused and driven Darren Tarleton? Now, we've seen Darren Tarleton kind of duck a little bit of Plan Z, but as we learn, he's not going to be able to do what he did to forsake in that Armageddon because this match is going to be no count out for the AOA World Championship. Is it going to benefit Lance or does that open the door for Darren to inflict more punishment? We'll find out at Armageddon. And speaking of damage, punishment, all those words, all of that and then some is going to happen. And when Reaper go one-on-one -on -one with Forsaken in the three stages of Hell Map, now we found out that it will be a one-on-one -on -one match in the first stage of that map, but the other two are still a mystery. But what won't be a mystery is that this match is going to be filled with brutality. This match is going to be filled with violence to a level that I don't think any of us are ready for. Reaper, I hope you rest up well. Forsaken, I hope you come in here with some type of game plan. Three Stages of Hell at Armageddon is going to be off the hook, fam. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest of this time, Mr. Pac-Man. Yes, indeed, young man. Yes, indeed. And you know what? You know, my last time I heard you interview somebody, you know, you had so much motivation in your voice. How come every time I come out here, you sound so doggone distraught? Why but, is that, young man? Because I don't like you, okay? I, I don't like you. You don't like me? No, no, you, you, you come in here and you act like you know talent and all that, and you and you and you align yourself with two cheaters and weapon of mass destruction. Because let me say this, Wolfpack 
Wolfpack could still be champions, okay? It was not fair that they had to put the tiles on the line of the steel cage match. And you guys were lucky that you got beat the club tonight. So, as far as the match last week about y'all somehow, someway winning the tag title, and the match tonight where you guys somehow got lucky and beat the club, what are your thoughts and where do you think the team is going to go forward from there? Well, I tell you, my first thought is, is that, you know what, you're a lousy dog on commentator or announcing whatever you call yourself I'll doing. Be. And secondly, it's my turn. It's my turn. Fine. And secondly, the weapons of mass destruction, they're going to do exactly what they always do. And that's go out and impress and just go out there and destroy each and every tag team that comes out in front of us. Mr. Pac-Man has led us this far, and we are going to continue to roll through every tag team in the AOA. Hmm. Well, good. At least it was good that you're feeling that way. But do you feel that the pressure is on your you guys' shoulder to keep the tag team championship in AOA when you all face Nate Shields and Dwayne Frost at Armageddon for those tag team titles? Nate Shields and Dwayne Frost. Yeah. Let me tell you something about these gentlemen. These gentlemen are just not starting out and trying to do their best at what I've been doing for many, many years. Mr. Pac-Man and his company has been there and done that. Nate Shields and Dwayne Frost are just juniors. And when I have this game plan laid out for WMD, and they have their pinpoint focus on Nate Shields and Dwayne Frost, well, well, they will be leaving this company wounded and broken men. That's a guarantee. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a word from Mr. Eggman himself. Put some pep in your voice, young man. Come on, let's get it. Over words from Mr. Eggman himself, Pac-Man. Eggman! Back to you guys out there in the oh, The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Championship. Well, Jason Wells can't find a way to get along with anyone. Here comes... Chris Crossburn, who gotta be a bitter, bitter, bitter man right now, okay? On an episode of, on the most recent episode of MBW, Chris Crossburn went one on one with a surprise addition of Dwayne Frost, which Tyler, I don't think that was a smart move at all, man. But he did it. And fortunately, Chris Crossburn. Well, no, not fortunately. Chris Crawford lost to Dwayne Frost, but I will say, fortunately, Mac will view that opportunity right there to cash in his opportunity to briefcase and take the belt off of Dwayne Frost. So, I mean, hey, and then the guy, since he always, you know, got hooked up with people and everything, came up with the brilliant idea to have a MPW World title match right here tonight. So, I mean, hey, that's not the first time. This isn't the first time we've had something like this happen. But I will say, this is the first time we're having a world championship. Somebody else's world championship defended here on AOA TV. That is a first time thing for us. And Mac will make it away down to the ring. And not to discredit Crawford in any stretch of the imagination. Chris Crawford is an outstanding competitor. And former MBW Tag Champion and former MBW World Champion looking to regain that championship here tonight. And I will say X Attack, all three members of X Attack have been a world champion in some form or another. There is the current AOA World Champion, two-time MBW World Champion. Chris Crawford recently lost his MBW World Championship. And then Matthew Thor was even a world champion of a different league. Unfortunately, I can't remember the name of at the moment. I believe it's DCW, if I'm correct. I hope I, I, hope I get the name right, but Matthew Thorman off to the final world champion there. All three of the guys definitely got what it takes to get it done in single competition. Let's just see if they can get it done. Let's see if Chris Cropper specifically can get it done right here tonight when he finishes the match. Whoa. You feel me? So, with that being said, I guess, Jojo, it's about that time. It's about that time. I got in there. I'm going to step behind Mac Wolf here. Another last let's get the thing on and popping. The 
How about NBW World Championships? Would be an outstanding concert. Let's get it. rock and roll. Introducing the challenger from Smithfield, North Carolina, weighing in at 211 pounds, Chris. Rock and roll, man. Introducing the champion from Toledo, Ohio, weighing in at 220 pounds. He is the world champion, Max Wolf. Even though this isn't an AOA World Championship, the way we work here at AOA is that, hey, if you cool with us, we got no problem making some things happen, and we're gonna make things happen right now. Um, the main event, the NBW World Championship on the line for the first time we are having an NBW title defended here, and here we go. And he thanks to, uh, real quick, he thanks to um, the general manager, Tyler Adam, who is there again, the part of NBW. And NBW, if you guys want to check it out, will be on the channel of Super Kick Gaming. So I'm all set with me. Go check out these two cats over there. And Chris Crawford, without question, is definitely someone that's very impressive over there in NBW. He was at, uh, I remember I was being out there, being there for their uh, the Genesis pay-per-view. Phenomenal show. We saw a lot of action, a lot of great action. And even though Chris Crawford in the, oh, he was in a match against Matthew Storm, and they were, they were having their differences. Unfortunately, after the Genesis, they were able to, uh, to work things out. And they are now united once again as X Attack. Shot right there. X Attack and kind of weaved in, in the trail and the hunt once again. The champions are going for problem with the first one really. The first problem with it be that by becoming NBW. World champion now looking to get that belt back here tonight. The nice arm drag by, by Mac Wolf. This is definitely going to be a great back and forth contest here, to say the least. Ooh. Took that there from Crossburn. Mac Wolf. In all types of trouble here. And here we go on that super flex from the top rope. Roll through. Falcon Arrow. Nice stuff. Straight into the cover. And they kick out at two. First time I really think Chris Rob had a single action here in AOA and I've had the pleasure of calling this guy match. This dude is definitely an outstanding competitor. To say the least. It'd be good to see him in the tag match. I mean this guy can't get it done in single action. He definitely can. All three. Definitely so it uh Mac Wolf. He's bringing the fight, kind of putting the stuff with Jay and Black behind him for the time being. I'm gonna make something great happen here. Ducking the clothesline is Crawford. Off the ropes you go. It's oh, right there, a Pele kick. Quick Crawford kicking back up to his feet. Immediately ready to rock and roll. And yeah, Mack will stretch out in the submission here. Crawford, oh, 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 oh. able to get out of that pretty quickly. Come on, yes, again, they're coming down on this two point. Right from the side. Look at this joint. Look at this. Look at this. Nice. Kind of choking out. Kind of choking out Wolf here. And he's kind of choking out Crawburn here. Crawburn's in all types of trouble. And Crawburn able to power out. It's tough right there. With the rope to go. Oh, nice hurricane running by, uh, by Wolf straight into the cover. He goes through the rope. And it is a rope break. And you know, it will be Mack Wolf facing uh, Jan Black for the AOA United States Championship. And there you are on the get in. See Black playing in the back, watching this thing. And he'll be scouting. This is not going to be a pushover match. Mack Wolf is just on the one to the outside of the ring here. Here we go. Springboard. Oh, he's right in the mouth. Solid stuff by Crossburn. Crossburn is on a roll. Crossburn is on all types of fire here tonight. 
And wait a second, he's in that show blow and that opens the door for Max Wooten to take advantage. That springboard drop kick into the last chance. And if Crawford can reach over and grab the ropes, he'd be home free, but you know, unfortunately not able to get there. He was locked in a submission. He's not able to fight out of it though. And remember that submission training we're seeing a little bit, we're seeing a little bit from Crawford there, but again, too close to the rope. Bring it. This was all question there. Ooh, this is a new cap. Ooh. Shot on the track over and over. Look at the counter. Put the mix section. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Oh, oh, kick up again. That, that's the impressive stuff right there for Crawford. Crawford, it seems like he got this bounce back ability. This is out of his world. Oh, man. Kick that to the, right to the mix section. Putting, stopping Crawford right in his track. Oh, I guess you can say this is the type of action you can expect again to crawl over that bounce back type of ability. Come back over the four right to the mid section. Here we go. Up on a long fire here. Roll through. Kick to the side of the head. Oh. Here we go. Move to the mid section. In the middle of No bone here. Ball flight. And middle frog blast right to the cover. He may be in here. Ooh, she got a two. Wow. Don't going to do anything and everything to take the win back. An NBW championship here. There we go, look at that. Ooh. He's going to have it up to the mix up. Cool. Huh? I'm going to have a combination to get out of here with that. Look at that. Look at Crawburn. Look at them combinations, baby. Oh, tell him to bring it. And he is. Here we go. He's striking Central up in there. Oh, he's going to the back. And Crawburn stopping him down, swing blade. Max Wolf kipping back up. Here we go. Trying to roll him up here. Two. Woo. Out of the live. Out of the line for this one. Don't blame them for what a match this has been. Ooh. Down to go. Quick one. Oh! Look at back elbow. Drive blame. Definitely uh, using a little bit of space they have to provide some of some of great offense there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Crawford's to bring it. Ooh. Well, I'm going to bring it and then uh, maybe should have uh, hit the move and put it in there calling, calling showboating. I hope we're getting a little bit of a little, little, little tongue off a little bit here. Ooh, four on there, bring it. I'm going to call it myself a complete loop there. I'm going to have to do a little rope. We're going to do a rope. This counter from the crossbow. Off into the rope to go. And, ooh! Has something planned, he's counter that. Try to go that middle drop kick again. It missed. It set something cross burn to get that camel club locked in. And then kind of crawl to the road. And it's there. I guess we uh, came up with a better idea. So, you know, I forget this. I'm just going to power out of him. He does. There's kind of a credit to do there. Straight jacket. German suit flag right into the cover. Two. And a two cap. There's Crawford keeping him right back up. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, spot. That's crazy. A brutal kick in the spot. Release combination from Crawburn again. Lighting up Max Wolf. Ooh. That stiff style that MBW's known for. Really shot it through here. Ah, I can't take any play from the combat Max Wolf was doing earlier. Chris Crawford showing off to the crowd here while Mac Wolf propped up in the corner. Oh, definitely really after all those shots that he's taken to the face and the head. That, oh, wow, that, that's, a, that's a disrespectful. Right? That's an outright disrespectful taunt and right in front of him. The kick to the midsection. Crawford is 
all on top of the game tonight. And the top rope, elbow drop missing. Maybe all that posturing may have cost him. Max out for Max Wolf, straight into the cover. It may be in here. No. The two count. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Calling him up to the feet here. Very effort, Martin. Ooh. He should have what he was thinking before. Here we go. Cropper from dip. Right. Dip into distance. Running back with it. Drop kick again. Beautiful stuff there. Very beautiful stuff there. Cropper. One side to the other. Back to the other side. Where the does Crawford run game plan here? Yeah, something going. Yeah, we even had a fix strong. I don't know what his game plan was from the start, but let me try to fake him out. Let me do it. Let me try to fake him out, man. Not work. Here we go. Oh! Man! A knee strike. Two. Oh, and a kick out at two. Wolf is hanging in there. Massive of the MBW World Championship. Maybe this is why they guys want to leave you guys here. The new man get acting like this and what a treat this is. The people in Baltimore. Ooh. And he's trying to fight back from one knee. Help him not really let me fly. The crowd is on their feet here. You can have this swinging it back and forth. Knee strike. Uh-oh. Oh! Dang, there's a moment drop. Wolf keeping back up, though. Oh, here we go. That combination. All point. Doing it again. Hitting it off again. Oh, that's in the midsection. Ring to the outside. Okay, what does he got playing? Look at this. Oh, snap. Bait ball slide. Dropping Chris Crawford. Good. Bring him to the ring you go. On up top here. Oh, Crawford runs back up again. Wait, back up. Oh. Diving code breaker connects. Cover to Crawford. This may be end game here. Oh, kick out at two. You got to bring it. As expected. What more can you say? You got a world championship on the line? Hey, you gonna do what you gotta do. Whether it's the AOA World Championship, MBW, NXTV, XTV, whatever, however you wanna fly. You got a world championship on the line, you gonna do your thing here. You do got to bring it out. I think Crawford about to take a little bit of flight here. And he does tornado DDT. He's got there in Baltimore. They just making noise at this point. They're just making some, some straight noise at this point. They were really cheering or booing one guy or the other. Oh! I'm trying to the middle row. Frog flash again. Not going to be moments away from taking that belt back with him. Crawford may be moments away from taking the MBW World Championship back home with him. Let's see what he got. Let's see what he got left in his repertoire. Repertoire. I could have said that properly. Mac Wolf kicking back up, though. Here we go. Mac Wolf. Kicking it off hot, baby. Oh. Oh, snap the car. Caught him, driving him down. Straight into the cover. Two and a go. Oh, wow. Two count. One of the Rock Martin, too. He's down here while it's in through the ground. Back with his back. Wow. What a display we are witnessing. Uh oh. Well, he get looking to get some distance on this one. Here we go. Oh, he's countered. Oh, 
Hit right to a crawl body. Wolf. His feet can end it. I'm telling him to get down. I don't think he's going to. Moonstone. Chopper got the knees up though. He went right into the ribs of Wolf. Talking about that knee strike. We're trying to go to the drop kick or something. He countered. Got caught with the knee strike again. Straight into the cover. This may be it. Two. Ooh. I could never kick out. Well, he's going to use that knee strike to set up the pedigree. But he had not attempted to hit it yet. Oh, well. I'm calling him up here. Let's see what he got. Let's see what he got up in his the sleeve there. Keeping it simple. Okay. Nice job. Not, not bad. He kept it simple. And keeping it simple, it was effective. Look at that. Off the up she goes. Oh, man. This up a really effective with the strike. Very effective with his speed. Try to go for something there. It's counted by Wolf. Look at this. The combination. Off the rolling to the outside ring immediately. And, get, and catches Wolf with a Pele kick. Goodness. The speed, the quickness, the accuracy of these guys is unbelievable. And again, hopefully, it will make some of these people, some people, a believer in someone like Crossburn. Toss them off. Knee, oh, jumping knee strike. He so on deck this man with that. Word. Shot right there. Straight jacket German doesn't go for the cover this time like he did the first time. Oh, man, the crowd automatically kind of boom whoop. Maybe they believe in the stuff that Glenn Blackman's saying about him. It's a possibility. Hold on. Look at this, look at this. Black Wolf getting a little bit vicious here. Oh, Crossmark hitting back up. Nick, blowing a suplex again. Showing off his strength there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. More than all kinds of trouble. From a good just the way. Oh, he tried it. Gets caught again. Gets counted again. To the middle rope. Uh-oh. I could probably I'm thinking about something here. Middle rope. Oh! Don't think he's taking that middle rope back up. never seen him hit before. You couldn't get it done there. That's formed by Crossburn. Can't lay them down again. Straight into the cover. This is probably going to be it. And no. He's got to bring in their A game. But Crossburn needs to think of a way to end this thing. Crossburn needs to find a way to end this matchup. ASAP. Uh-oh. What the hell? Look at this. Turn. Oh, snap. Reverse deep. Max Wolf is back. Oh, um, bro. On the ropes he goes. Pop up. Boom. I call it a flat jack there. I guess he, he maybe he's trying to pop up with something. They're calling it a flat jack and going to that. That really flat jack right this thing. And hit a rope. Oh, that's counter by Wolf. That's counter. Right, look at this. They got the. Oh, oh. I don't know, I'm also kind of working on the head and neck over that one. He's a guy to kind of battle them doors. These gas isn't going to run on empty first. And wait a second. Oh, that's a forearm. What a violent forearm by the Crawford. And back at it. Back at it with the kick. Maybe not thinking Max here. He may be. They have a game plan here. Only that seem like it. Grump. They like it. Yeah, they're making good use of it. That's what I'm calling Mac up to his feet. You see guys. Oh, here we go. Finally. Gonna go for it. Petting. Ooh. Getting out of here. Close line. He was waiting for a moment to go for the pedigree. It was not meant to be. On the ropes you go. 
pop up. Oh, snap, he caught him. That elevated max out connect. Elevated max out. I agree with this crowd. But I think this match is moving away from being over. Elevated max out. Middle rope max out. Straight into the cover. One, two, and Max Luther King, the MBW wow. World Champion. Wow, of course, of course. Mac Wolf is in the main event again. Of course. Oh, Jane Black gonna be a party pooper. Of course. In a match that not for his that not for this company championship, somehow main events the show. Hmm. I wonder what type of favor they I wanted you to do to make that happen. Oh, come on. Of course. Always always gotta be about you. Taking the taking the shine away from someone that probably actually deserved that main event spot other than you. Well, that's cool. Because you took my shot. And you admitted it. You took my chance from me. For good reason. For your own selfish needs. Wrong. But after doing a little bit of research, you didn't just take shine from me. You also took it from someone else. And this someone else remembers you from day one. Day one? Who the? Uh, wait, wait a second. What the heck? That woman got a sack from behind with a baseball. Wait. No way. That. That for two. That. Oh my God. That for two. Two is beating the brakes off a of wolf here. And by day one, I get what he's saying. This was whenever Max Wolf debuted in AOA, the two was the first guy that he ran into. The two was the first guy Max Wolf had a match with. And the two just laid him out with the end of the trail. I never thought I was even too back here. Oh, God. Oh. You watch this. You set this whole thing up. You set this up. I never think I was even too back here. Having what Martin did though, I really didn't think I was seeing back here. And they get fit too, we just we just lying in wait, I guess. To the end of the trail on the back. My god. I was a change of look. I don't remember this guy. Not look dude, he couldn't even celebrate. That hook didn't even have five seconds to celebrate. Before Jay Black did this. Oh. The back of the head. With that table. I can't believe what I'm watching. The two is actually back here in AOA attacking the crap out of Mac Wolf, no less. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 oh, God. Oh, God. The power bomb through the table. No, oh, wait, I'm not, I'm not, come on, come on, man, let it go. He just had a, he just had a killer match out here, and now Jane Black, of course, gonna make sure the spotlight stays on him while orchestrating this attack here. Good God. Why though? The two back under instructions of James Black. And we still got more questions than answers. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this episode. 
Hey, it might be a boss. I'll holler at you guys later. We need to get some help out here. Whoop it. Bucked it open. We're clearly hurt here, yo. We, we don't need the medical attention right now.